Hello everyone, my name is Fuds. This is my first unboxing video on my channel. I've mostly been gaming, but since people like watching people open boxes, I figured why not give it a go myself. As you can see, I'm here in front of my desk over my trackball mouse. Um, again, if you want to know more about trackball mouse, I'll show you more about that another time. It's not the only trackball mouse I've got, I've got lots of things. But again, that's a video for another time. What I'm actually here for today, and is customary for unboxing videos, is Loot Crate. The Loot Crate subscription service, um, where you can pay a certain amount of money, I think it works out about 15 to 20 quid, um, depending on which one you go with, and you get a box sent to yourself every month with geeky type stuff in it. This month's theme is Summon. Uh, the poster includes things like Pokemon, and I think I saw maybe League of Legends on there somewhere. So there's probably going to be some Pokemon or League of Legends type stuff. Now I've been avidly avoiding spoilers because unfortunately my one arrived late this month, which means this video is going to be one of the last ones which I'm going to be uploading, I'm sure. But since it's here, I'm going to review it now. And if you want a closer look to a box, there you are. It's quite a small one, like I say. I'm going to detail some bottom which I've blacked out, so even if I do turn it wrong way off, you can't see where I live. I've also got my IU Move for Scale. A tiny little uh, Nendoroid Mini, for those who know what, how big they are. For those who don't, oh well, she's about that big. So without further ado, I want to, by the way, if you do want a loot crate of your own, um, I'm going to pop a link in the description so you can go there. Um, you can get referred by myself and I will know that you've watched my video, you enjoyed it, you wanted the loot crate and we both get something from it. So let's get in there and open this up. I've got my trusty knife. I'm going to slit it open there. As you can see I've not opened this yet. This is fresh from the uh, postman, or well, postwoman actually this morning. Uh, she delivered it nicely. And this is the first of three I've, I've subscribed for. Um, if I do get something better, I will be sure to show you. So open it up. Uh, loot Crate, so this Loot Crate is our most unique and interactive one yet. So go to lootcrate.com forward slash summon book for instructions to on how to see all the magic. So it's going to be some kind of interaction or some kind of um, reality type bending stuff there. Probably kind of interesting. Let's open up the loot crate and see what we have. We can see it's got a treasure chest design on the, on the base there. And let's move on your there for scale again. And I can immediately see we've got something from the Simpsons, we've got a Pikachu hat. I think that's a Pikachu hat. Let's, let's have a look at that to begin with. So it's a BioWorld Pokemon headwear. And it's a Pikachu one. It's Kind of silly. Personally, it's not the type of thing I would see what you'd see myself wearing. Let's try it on anyway. Okay, now that is actually it's actually kind of comfortable. <laughs> I never thought so that. Um, got the weird little Pokemon danglers. Don't know what you call these things, but yeah, very interesting. So I'll put that to one side for now. That's the um, Pokemon Bio World headwear. So it's a Pikachu hat. The next thing in the list here is this Hearthstone thing. Here we are. Let's have a quick look to see what it, that's, that's what it looks like. And on it it says. Here is a Warcraft warning choking hazard, always good. Let's say collector's stress reliever. To avoid dangerous suffocation, keep this plastic bag away from babies and children. Dispose of this bag immediately. Okay, in a bit it goes. Oh, you get the stuff out first. That makes a lot more sense. So let's have a quick look to see what we have. This is going to be one of those squeezy things which... Yep, it's one of those squeezy things which you just squeeze 
and eventually your dagger will dig into and get ruined. But I suppose it's not bad. Uh, a mate of mine's birthday is coming up soon, so I don't think I know where this one's going to be going. Uh, he does play, I'm pretty sure he's played Hearthstone, he's at least tried it, so he's a lot more of a World of Warcraft fan than I was. I, mean, I was always an EverQuest player rather than a World of Warcraft player, um, but not played a good MMO in a long time. Except Final Fantasy XIV, that was a good MMO. And that's the Hearthstone Stress Reliever. Now I can't um, avoid it any longer. We got this Homer Simpson thing, and is a kid robot, um, apparently. You buy, very lucky. And it's a kid robot, The Simpsons Collectible Art. That's a box if you want to see it. Let me get into this and see what we have. Is this kind of a blind box or is it just going to be uh, the same thing for everybody? Probably the same thing for everybody, but let's see what we have. So we open it up. And we open up and we get a plastic bag. So it does look to be going with a blind box type thing. Anything else in there? Nope. So throw it to one side. Okay. And we get this plastic bag. Now, is there a way to get into this bag easily? Uh, yep, yeah, we've got a nice little nip down there side, so let's open it up. And what do we have? We have a golden Homer. Mmm, donut base. With a few little additions. Now, yep, yeah, these are nice bags, so we'll open it up. And I'm assuming that they're going to go in each of our hands, so let's have a quick look here. We've got a pretzel for one hand. Does a pretzel fit? And we got some other thing here. No idea it goes in his other hand. Let's have a quick look to see if it says anywhere about where it goes. These things very do show where things are actually, to be honest. So they, they can only really go in his hand. So, um, yep, down a uh, pretzel in one hand for Homer. And weird charm in the other hand. So yeah, we got a uh, kid robot um, Homer butter thing. Gold um, as a butter would be. Very bizarre, but kind of interesting. And so yeah, and um, it's about the same, just only slightly taller than I am actually. Very hold up, hold up the scale as well. There we are. Uh, next up, we've got this um, car, Loot Crate exclusive. It's Greenlight Collectibles Hollywood Supernatural Joy Hunt. It's a '67 Chevrolet Impala, short sedan. And yeah, just looks to be a collectible car from Supernatural. I don't watch Supernatural, but um, no idea what it's got to do with Summon. A quick look. Um, here we are. I'm going to blow up on my back. If you can just, if you can, if you can read that, can't you? Okay, I will. Um, the classic black 1967 Chevy Impala is essential to a third home on wheels to both robbers when needed. A strongest stock full of every weapon and item needed to fight against the supernatural entity of a planet. It was purchased by John Winchester and handed down to his eldest son, Dean, who treasures the car. Despite near destruction, the countless scrapes and bruises and several months in storage, the Impala, like Dean and Sam themselves, never stays down for long. History. The Impala was built in Janesville, Wisconsin, on April 24th, 1967. The first owner was Sam Mayarty, who bought her for $3,999. John Winchester bought her in 1973. The price on a windshield was $2,204. Miss Luke Great exclusive is a recreation of Impala as she existed when Dean convinced John to buy her in 1973. Complete with a period Kansas license plate on her back. Okay, let's have a closer look at that. Um, I used to collect all these little collectible car things, so 
the probably should stick it. If I, if I'm, it's just basically a normal. Got a nice, um, really was a mess. And there we are. That's the Chevy Impala. That's the back. That's the front. That's the top. And yeah, just classic um, collectible toy. Um, you can either collect it or play with it. Don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, I don't know if anybody I know likes, um, but both likes uh, Supernatural or collects cars. But if they do, then I've got to get themselves a present. If they don't, then they'll probably still get themselves a present if I like one or the other. Because I've got no idea what the hell I'm going to do with it. That was the um, Supernatural Joy Hunt 1967 Chevrolet Impala short sedan. It contains a die cast car and plastic. Uh, we've got down here, we've got, oh, we've got a book type thing. It's a, now this looks to me similar to Hearthstone. Um, there's always room for another. Scratch off gently with coin. Okay, yep, yeah, it's claim your free card pack. Um, I don't know what this actually is related to. It's got something. A metal, metal coin of some sort. Ah, well, that makes sense now. Has it got a collectible coin? Which you can use to scratch off a code uh, to get your free card pack in um, Hearthstone. Yeah, I'm always hesitant to go into these games. That's a collectible coin there. It's the basic um, hexagonal. I don't know if it's actually relating to the game or anything like that. But it seems nice enough. I've never got into playing Hearthstone, but purely simply because I used to spend huge amounts of money on Magic Gathering. I've still got some of my boxes there, actually. And even Magic Gathering Online when it was first launched. But I don't play it anymore, and it's just a waste of money. It's just got card light everywhere in my closet. Okay, next up we've got the infamous Loot Crate badge, or pin if you're American. This one is the Loot Crate September 2015 Summon. It's got Pikachus, Loot Crates, and... I can only imagine assuming they're Inner Star Butter designs. There you are, a little bit closer. It always seems bigger actually than they are, and it's it's not really a decent quality badge either, it's not got the locking mechanism. Oh well, stick it to my hat. I've got the, um, what's this? The Loot Crates Master Summoner. Free mobile game. Now, does this have a code? Da -da -da -da. Aha, so it's developed right here at Loot Crate, this free mobile game has awesome augmented reality activities which you can only access with the help of a fully constructed summon crate. So I'm going to use this on my uh, mobile, to, which is up there at the moment. Uh, I've got a proper camcorder, so I'm using my um, Galaxy S5 Edge, X6 Edge to record this. I want to be using my S2 to actually shed lots of light on the situation over there. I'm going to use that to see what that is later, so I can't put it on screen because of augmented reality and nonsense. I've got the book, which is the Loot Crate magazine. It's got some stuff on the back, which are probably linked to a game somewhere. Death, Devil, Judgment, The Fool, and Strength. And Summon of War is a card game. And this week's, this month's Mega Crate comes with a DX Racer chair, a bag, that's a Charizard messenger bag, that's actually pretty cool actually, an um, iPad, playing Hearthstone, because why not, uh, Destiny PS4, it was blatantly going to be a US one so it wouldn't be as useful for us in the UK, but it's a cool design, it's not the best looking design but it's not bad, you get the Simpsons Lego, I still don't know what the Simpsons have to do with loot in summoning, but still. You get the Riot Games League of Legends Ziggs 
Is that true? And you get the uh, 13 inch Supernatural Chevrolet Impala, a big one apparently. And in the Mini Mega Crates, with plenty of people getting them, you also got the, um, the lanyard, the cup, uh, or mug, whatever, and four pint glasses. So yeah, you go for all this uh, nonsense. Um, I'm sure you've seen these before. I've still no idea why there's... I mean, half Sony you can understand, because that's a card game, you summon monsters. The, um, and the accessories this month, you seem to have a hair bow tie. Um, I don't know that was last month. Oh well, no idea what you get this time. That's that time to loot. And there's a guy wearing the, um, the Pokemon Laplander hat. You know, I might actually take that to a convention and wear it at some point. A Homer Simpson God and Buddha. Oh, I have actually got the uh, things that attached correctly. A half, half stone foam stress ball. And oh, it's got only one on the back. A half stone collectible coin card and card pack code. And the game. And so I think that's pretty much it for this month, because there's nothing else left in there. I think the only thing left to do, as I'm going to move these away for a moment, uh, move on with the scale back there. The only thing left to do is try and sort out the box. So you, you turn these inside out. And I'm going to come back to you with um, a completed box. So I would detach the wrist from here and here. I'm doing this slightly off camera so you can't see it properly. And this one goes here and here. Careful yeah, because I don't want to whip this box. Um, plug this one here and do the same on this side. Uh, turn the box inside out, and perhaps got some cut marks as well. I've got some proper scissors over here. Well, if you can call these proper scissors, which part do I need to cut? So let's cut the box. Just on the dotted lines because it doesn't say anywhere else. Unlike there. So you cut along with dotted lines. And you cut up there. I can only imagine this is going to become some kind of magic summoning chest thing. I suppose it's a good use for a box, isn't it? I'm turning it into a plaything. Okay, so let's get this turned back over. and you go there like that and feed you over fold you back in and fold you in you go in and there we have it it's a Art of Conjuring Luke summon book or is it a book or is it a chest I'm not quite sure 
Since that seems to tell me it's a book. But that looks more like a chest. Maybe it's a secret book or... Well. See, what this loot plate could have had to be better. Because... That could be summoned. I don't know if I'm serious enough to know about it being summoning. This is summoned. This is summoned. Or this is basically just a free code of a coin, which is... Basically, they throw me into everything these days. This is a cool idea. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Let's see how it goes. The hat, you don't really summon a Pikachu, but it's a pretty cool addition. The home of Butter, how, just how is that summoning? That is kind of a cheap cop out, really. So we got one item which I think is pretty cool. Goofy but cool. But one item which is pretty cheap and generic um, useless. Got one item which is uh, plasticky, kind of rubbish but okay I suppose. Not in fitting a theme. One which I wouldn't be surprised to see in Poundland in a few months time. It wasn't fully created exclusive, I probably just could have created a slightly different version of it. A please here have some cards so you can buy more cards from this coin. And that's about it really. Well, that has been September's loot crate, the theme being summon. Next month it looks like the theme is going to be time. And um, if I, I'm guessing, I think the time the words "timey wimey looty crazy" are going to come into it, as well as the words "excellent" and possibly even um, a DeLorean. In fact, if I have another one of these next month with instead of a uh, supernatural Impala. A little mini DeLorean, I will be happy. That will suit, that will suit me next month. That's what I want next month. I'll put it on record. I want a toy DeLorean. But no, thank you very much for watching. My name has been Fuds. This has been my first unboxing of the Loot Crate. If you want your own, like I say, there's a link in the description where you can go in and get your own crate. I got this uh, quite cheap uh, through a offer through Crunchyroll who had an offer for subscribers to get certain potential off their loot crates. Um, so I've got three months of this, so if I like them, I'll carry on. If I don't, then oh well, I, may, I may try and get a different um, loot crate option in the future. I know there's another one coming up from um, the anime streaming website Viewster, which is coming up from to March, I think, when it goes live, uh, which I'm definitely going to be subscribing for, because that one looks fantastic. But join me again next month around the between the 20th and 20, basically the last third of a month, you'll see a video from me with time.